So here we are. This is where we're going to be shooting our first day on The Hobbit. These are the Goblin Tunnels. This is a whole network of passageways below the Misty Mountains, where Bilbo has a chance encounter with Gollum. It was strange to actually read the script for the first time and go, oh, yeah, right, I'm actually going to have to play this guy again. Three guesses. Very well, guess away. It was really nice to do a little chamber piece first, and it was just two people hammering it out. I don't want any trouble. Do you understand me? You just show me how to get out of here and I'll be on my way. Yes. It made a lot of sense, I think, starting with a character that was familiar. Because I think if Martin had been faced with a scene with the 13 dwarves, it would have been a big thing for him to deal with. Dealing with one, well, two, well, I should say. Uh, you know, personalities. That was probably a good place to start. Do it again. Do it, do it again. I ask us. No. No more riddles. Although he'll be golemized, you know, digitally, that's who you're working with. You're just in a scene. You're doing a play. I mean, you don't see any of that. You just see Andy giving you this mad creature. Where is it? And cut it. Thank you. That's terrific. I think we can check the gate on that. Remember yesterday we did a thing where you lowered the saw and then you bring it up again when he oh, makes yeah, the threatening yeah, yeah, move. Yeah. If we could go back to that. Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you. All right. Shall we, uh, shall we give it a go? Shoot. Thanks. Here we go. Peace. The thing that's so incredible about Martin is that he's always exploring. He's experimenting. He's trying different things. Trying to figure out where Bilbo's truth is. Right. What's stopping me from climbing the trees is actually dwarfs being well, in the way, be but rather than that, because in yeah. the script it's like, because I'm too small, but the dwarves aren't that much taller than no, me. So. Because my feeling as well, it's not just the ring. I'm in the process of relinquishing my grip over my own house. I'm just trying to find what it is that makes me say that. Well, I think I'm just shocked, aren't yeah. I? I'm always in favour of starting a fresh slate, because what I don't need to do, and what the audience doesn't need to do, is be hamstrung by my impressions of Ian Holm. There's one small chest and hardly overflowing. And it still smells of troll. Ian Holm had already set the bar, you know, for what Bilbo was. There's a lot about Martin that is very Bilbo-like. He's probably one of the, the nearest people to a hobbit that I've ever actually met. Don't know whether he'll be happy hearing that or not. I think we're good. And that is a um, wrap on Martin Freeman as the hobbit. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was just such a, a wonderful experience. Thank, thank you, you so much. Me too. Thank you very yeah. much, folks. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to say uh, thank you and goodbye, but as we all know, uh, it, may, it may be au revoir, but in case it is goodbye, thank you so much. It's been an amazing two and a half years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't put into words briefly enough what it's meant to me, but... Rest assured, it's, it's meant uh, an awful lot. So thank you very much. Thank you. A good man. It's been our pleasure you. having you. Uh, thank you. Oh, they like giving presents that lot. They're, you know, they're, they're big, soppy people, really. And I like that about them. That's beautiful. Uh, He's made me slightly better looking. Look <laughs> I'm a very unsentimental person, really, when it comes to work. And this wasn't really hitting me much. You know, like the magnitude of. It's my last day, I mean, you know, it wasn't really hitting me. Until Graham McTavish, who plays Dwalin, came over and said, it's been really nice, man. His voice started to break and I was like, oh, crap, I'm gonna go. <laughs> you know, and it came out of nowhere. It was really, it was really strange. And then it, it does suddenly hit you that, wow, yeah, I came here two and a half years ago with these people and we've gone through a real thing together, you know.
Thank you.